if you've noticed your Galaxy S25 Ultra battery is draining way too fast, even when you are barely using it, you are not alone. A bunch of users are reporting the same issue. So whether you're struggling with the battery life or just looking for some tips to stretch out your charge, we're going to break down some battery saving tricks to help you improve your S25's battery life. We're going to start with some basics, and that is just go ahead force quit all the apps and windows that's running in the background. This saves a lot of battery. Next, go ahead check out some brightness settings from settings to your display. Now first, if you want, you can use dark mode on your device. This helps save battery. For this video, we're keeping it light. After that, if adaptive brightness is turned on, just turn it off so it does not keep going up and down and consume battery. Okay, and talking about brightness, if extra brightness is turned on, just toggle it off if you want. Next, we're going to enter motion smoothness or a refresh rate. It's recommended to try to keep it selected to a standard refresh rate to save battery. And last, in the display section, we're going to visit the screen timeout. Just make sure to keep it selected to a minimum level. Right from here, we're going to go back to settings, to lock screen and AOD. Now, more or less, we all know that AOD is one of the biggest reasons to consume battery. But if you want to keep it turned on, tap on always on display to when to show. Here, you can simply select your AOD to tap to show or auto. You can also schedule it for that matter. Going back to settings, now I'm going to visit the very own battery settings. The first year you can visit the background usage limit and um, make sure that put unused apps to sleep option is turned on. You can check out some other settings in here to select which apps you never want to auto sleep. I'm going to go back to the battery settings and enter battery protection. It's recommended to improve the overall battery life, just turn it on. Here you can either select basic or adaptive or maximum to save your device from overcharging. Going back and scroll down, make sure auto dim screen when your battery percentage is 5 is turned on. And lastly in this section, I'm going up to power saving. We can see a lot of options we already have shown will enable when you are on your power saving mode. Now, if you scroll down till the end, you can limit your apps and home screen option. So whenever you are on power saving, it will run only with this limited functionality. And lastly, by tapping on this three dot, you can enter the adaptive power saving option. And it's totally up to you if you want to turn it on. Next, we're going to check out some device care options from settings to device care. From here, as you can see, you can optimize your device function. And from here, it can clear up your memories, so storage issues does not put pressure on your battery. Now, going back to the device care section to performance profile, it's recommended to save your battery to keep using the light mode. Now, I'm going back to settings once again, and now I'm going to visit Google to all services to devices and it's recommended to keep it turned off to avoid any extra pressure on your battery. We are almost done. And lastly, it's recommended that whenever you are not using your device, just keep Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or mobile data turned off along with location services. And every now and then, try to give your device a restart. And these are some of the very handy tips that you can use to improve the overall battery life on your S25. Thanks for watching.